Sunday. Uh, we are driving. We're not driving. That's ridiculous. I'm driving to Myrtle Beach, but we stop. We are we are going to stop in Florence to go to the flea market. We haven't been there in like. I've never been. She's never been. I've, it's been a long time. So we're gonna go there on the way to Myrtle Beach. It's early. It's not that early. It's it's eleven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. I had to get some coffee. This isn't coffee, but I also have coffee. Um, I didn't go to bed last night. I uh, I had to stay up all night working on stuff because, um, you know, we went to that bartending thing. <laughs> we had to go to the bartender's convention. And because of that, I didn't get enough time yesterday to do anything to work on my stuff. So I had to upload stuff and get it slated. YouTube's friggin' stupid as crap. I uploaded Skyrim 60, and I waited forever for it to go HD, and I was uploading other crap, and the other crap went HD, and Skyrim never did, so I was like, okay. So I had to delete all of it and start over. It was terrible. But in the meantime, I edited some vlogs and junk. This is boring. You guys don't give a, a, a butt about this. Anyway, I didn't sleep. But I'm good now because I drank coffee and I have I have a mountain of munchkin donuts. It's cool because if you go in the morning and you're like, can I have 25 munchkins? They tend to just fill the little box up. I'm pretty sure there's like 40 in here. Bonus! Anyway, we'll be there pretty soon. And then we'll go off for 50 games. Then we're going to go home to where the Rocco is. That's it. We're finally in Florence, which is a good thing. We just stopped here at the McDonald's because I had to go to the bathroom pretty freaking bad. And I was like, man, I gotta go. So we get here and uh, I go into the bathroom and there's only one stall in McDonald's, but whatever. This one was unusually and strangely clean. But anyway, um, I go into the stall and I'm going to the bathroom. I'm not in there probably just two minutes and someone comes in and is dancing. Like, this is gonna sound weird, but they're dancing. They're like, kind of doing this. And like, they're like talking or mumbling or something. And it's, it almost seemed to me like someone else was in the bathroom and they were having a conversation. And then I saw that the, the, the feet of the person was like up against the saw door, like, their feet were on the inside of the door. Like, literally, literally, they were pushed, they had pushed themselves completely up to the, to the, the, the stall door. Which is creepy as fart, man. Like, what the crap is wrong with you that you would stand that close to the door with your feet sticking under the door? It was creepy. And all of a sudden, the guy goes, I gotta poop, I gotta poop so bad. I gotta take, I gotta, I gotta use the potty. I gotta do it. Come on, we gotta go. Come on, you gotta, and I'm thinking, Holy crap, I'm the only guy in here. He's the only other person in here. He's not with his buddy. He's talking to me as the only person in the stall. He's got his body pushed all the way up against the the door with his of feet. Of the stall you're in. Yeah. And he's dancing around. And he's like, I gotta go potty. I gotta poop. I gotta do it. Come on, we gotta, you gotta hurry up. Hey, man, you can't take all day. I gotta poop. And I'm like, what the piss? Like, how am I supposed to relieve myself when the guy is dancing at the stall door. Anyway, I'm, I don't say a word. The only thing I wanted to say to him was obscenities. So I'm, 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 I try to, you know, finish and, and, and clear myself. And when I'm done, I open the door and this, this, you know, this kid, he's not even a kid. Like, the guy, the guy was probably 15 or 16 years old. And he's like, thank you, mister, thank you, I really have to poop. And I'm like, Okay. Like, it was the weirdest bathroom experience I think I've ever had in my entire life. I actually, in retrospect, think that there was something, he probably had something wrong with him. Probably. Because I don't, I, I, I don't think anyone would actually do that. I'm pretty sure, like, there's a social norm, like, to not do that. So I, I'm going to guess that he had some, some sort of disorder or something. Anyway, that was odd. Um, never had someone else's feet stick under the door next to mine. That was creepy. Anyway, on to the flea market. 
we've walked around for quite a bit at this point, probably like 25 minutes. There's actually been a surprising amount of video games. It's been a lot. Unfortunately, nothing spectacular. Just kind of like, meh, I don't know. I guess we'll just mosey on home, especially because I really need a nap at this point. We finally made it. We're back home. And as soon as we got here, Dad wanted me to show these roses. Because you've, you've nurtured them, right? Is that what you've done? Yeah. You've worked hard on them? Yeah. They are pretty. You did a good job. They look nice. Yeah. I mean, especially, like, next to that thing. Yeah. It, it makes it look really good. Well, good job. Everyone should congratulate my father in the comments <laughs> for his wonderful job on the roses. Came over here to TGI Fridays because we're friggin' starving. All we've had today is stinking Dunkin' Donuts and coffee. Not a good combination. Got me some appetizer action. They're doing soup and salad. Mal is in love with that sandwich. If you love that sandwich so much, why don't you stink and marry it? <laughs> that whole that whole thing in there was all gymnastics and more. Jesse's heart did I start laughing? And I had to walk away because I didn't want him to see me laughing. <laughs> Uh, and he went, <laughs> like, I, I, I can't, you know, there's no way I could climb the rope. I tried. Well. I tried. Uh, yeah. Isn't. <laughs> you yeah. tried already. <laughs> oh, oh. Was, it, was this at his birthday party or was this in his class? This was in the class. Yeah, in the class. I remember the because it was pit. over like the, the, pit, the ball pit or whatever, yeah, yeah. The, whatever it, it was, just, the foam yeah, pit. Yeah. I and they wanted me to climb the rope, yeah. and I, I, rem like, I remember thinking, how does one climb a rope? Yeah. I, Put your glasses I, on, you're I, I wanted, I really wanted to ask, I was like, yeah. I couldn't help but notice that you haven't knotted this rope. There's no, yeah, it's slick. Like, how does one climb a rope? That's how and I actually, felt with Jim every time they were like, climb the ropes. When I was in school, there was kids, it was like, they just grabbed that thing and choo, 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 ran right up there and they tapped the beam, you know, at the top. I'm like, the closest I'm going to get is from here to the floor looking at it. Oh, my stars. Those I were good times in my childhood. No, they weren't. <laughs> it was, it was. <laughs> I wish I'd had the vlog then. Man. <laughs> Well, we just got back from uh, going shopping. We didn't really go shopping. We went and got some food, and then we just kind of drove around. And uh, my mom was like, is there anywhere you guys want to go? And I was thinking, bed, because I haven't slept. Uh, but we stopped by uh, the game store, and this is probably going to take a, a little explanation, but I'll do my best. A few months back, me and Mal stopped in at a local game store, and uh, long story short, became good buddies with a guy named Michael. And uh, Michael was a employee at this game store. It's a local mom and pop shop and um, we were able to get some games there that we used for prize support. I believe we got uh, a copy of Donkey Kong Country 2, we got uh, the Kirby Superstar cart there, and uh, we've gotten a few other things there and it was just basically a place where we could get fair deals on video game stuff and you know really nice people worked there anyway when I think that we might need prize support uh, for a, a new game I let Michael know and he holds on to a copy if it comes into the store well uh, one of those games came in today and this pretty much confirms it for an LP but you guys might have expected that Kirby's Dreamland 3 yep Kirby's Dreamland 3 is a game that you don't see all that often and uh, whenever it came in uh, he was like, do you want me to hold on to this? I was like, yes, yes, Kirby's Dream on 3, yes. So yeah, at some point that's going to be a uh, LP. Whenever we return to the Kirby series, when me and Mal do more co-op, we will be doing Kirby's Dream Land 3. It's a very underrated game, has an amazing art style, uh, just all-around good game. More people need to know what it is and appreciate it. I also got a copy of uh, Breath of Fire. It's in perfect condition. I'm pretty pleased. And here's the weird part. Uh, when we were in there, we were looking at something that we've been stumbling across at flea markets and have been thinking about purchasing, but have never really jumped into it and, and actually bought one. Well, I am proud, somewhat, to say that I have purchased my first Sega system. We bought a Genesis today. Seriously. Now, Mal grew up with a Genesis, but her sister currently has it, and we've been buying Genesis games here and there, but we don't actually have a Genesis to play them on. 
Now we have a Genesis. The price was fair. It's guaranteed to work, and the place has been around for years, so we can just take it back if, if something isn't right. But, uh, yeah, pretty good pretty good purchases today. We got prize support for Kirby's Dream Land 3, which is an amazing game. I got Breath of Fire, which is a game I've wanted for a long time, haven't been able to get a hold of, and we bought a Genesis. It comes with all the cables and a controller. Uh, we should probably hook it up and see if it works, which we'll do in a minute. Also, uh, Michael, who is the guy that's been helping us get a hold of, uh, of this awesome stuff for you guys, since most of it's prize support. Uh, we are going to be meeting him for lunch on Tuesday, hopefully, and you guys will actually get a chance to meet him. Uh, we've talked to him, you know, many, many times before, uh, and I talk to him online quite a bit, but I've never actually put him on the vlog, so I'll put him on the vlog. Also, I'm so stinking tired, my god. All right, let there be game. Or not. As luck would have it, it seems that the Genesis is a little bit borked. Um, something with the uh, the audio input, or, or the cable itself, I'm not actually sure, but when you hook it up to the TV, um, at least on this TV where the sound input seemed to be working just fine, it's like bzzz, and it shows like a picture going sideways. So it's either the actual connection on the back of the Genesis, or it's the cable itself. So we'll have to run it back over tomorrow, and they can test it and probably get us a a new one or a new cable or something. Anyway, I'm going through my room and uh, I just stumbled upon something that's pretty cool. I stumbled upon a receipt for a copy of Earthbound. Now this isn't the original Earthbound that I got uh, way, way, way back in the day. Uh, this is one of several copies I bought. This is this is the third and last copy I bought. It was um, in uh, December 2007 and I paid $50 for it. So fifty-three dollars and thirty-six cents, and I got it at a uh, Game Giant in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, now, most Super Nintendo and, and video game titles stay the same over the course of several years. the The price that you would pay five years ago is probably going to be about the same as you would pay now. Earthbound is one of the exceptions. Earthbound has skyrocketed. Uh, I paid fifty dollars five years ago, and now it's up to one hundred and thirty dollars. So, kind of crazy. Make sure you get my roses. There's only one woman duck, and the other ones are men ducks. Apparently there's ducks in our yard. They've obviously come for the edamame. We're playing spa dub <laughs> here in the kitchen, so it's Mama George's spa kitchen. <laughs> and she did my nails, which is hard to see, but there's a butterfly. Yeah, that's impossible to see. And then my toes are done. And my eyebrows are done. <laughs> And that's what Steven's been up to, over there on the couch. And, and there's Rocco. Get it. Look, you know what to do. You know where to pull it. Get it. That's it. Steven's going to wonder tomorrow why there's eight minutes of Rocco footage. <laughs> Steven. Come on. Hey. Come on. Let's go get in bed. Instead of on the couch. Come on. I know you're tired. You're squishing your glasses. Come on. Steven, wake up. Come on. Bud, you're going to bend your frames doing that. Come on, let's go get in bed. Looks like you have already. Mm. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Oh, hi.